we are generally quite reluctant to declare something extinct because detecting extinctions, it's, it's very difficult. You have to actually detect something not being there. Extinction occurs when the last individual of a plant or animal species dies out. Over 90% of anything that's ever lived on Earth has gone extinct. Depending on the figures you use, it could be as high as 99%. New diseases, new predators, or environmental changes can all lead to a species being wiped out. When the Earth loses a large proportion of its species over a relatively short geological period of time, it's called a mass extinction event. In the last 500 million years, there have been five of these. The most prominent one, the one that most people are familiar with, is probably the one that um, hailed the end of the dinosaurs. That was 66 million years ago, when a giant asteroid struck the Earth. That impact, mixed with large volcanic activity and the resulting effects on the climate, killed roughly half of all species on the planet. But a mass extinction event can be caused by anything from rising global temperatures to volcanic eruptions to ice ages. So should we expect another one? There is some evidence that we are possibly on the verge of a sixth mass extinction. And that is because um, over recent times we have seen quite a large number of extinctions in some of the better known species groups that we know much more about, like the mammals, the birds, the amphibians. So recent studies um, hint that um, we are probably currently seeing a extinction rate that's about three to 12 times higher. That's a conservative estimate. Other researchers say it's even much higher than that. It could be 80 times as high, 100 times as high as background extinction rates. The difference with the extinctions we're seeing currently, as opposed to the ones that we've seen over geological time, is that um, the main reasons for these extinctions are man-made. So we have had the most profound impact on our planet. We've become by far the dominant species on this planet. And with this have come a large number of threats to other species. The human population, which has increased by 130% in the last 50 years, is due to surpass 10 billion by 2060. More and more people means the demand for resources will increase and the pressure on the natural world will grow. A mass extinction is likely to have happened at some point. Um, because we've seen over geological time that these events happen again and again. Some are bigger, some are smaller, some are some of the big five, for example. Um, and so, yes, it could have and is likely to have happened even without us being here and becoming the dominant species. It's just this is the first mass extinction that's actually brought on by a specific species, by one species dominating habitats. We're, we're essentially looking at a situation where our life support system, our ecosystems, are in decline and starting to struggle to provide the functions that we would like them to, to give us. So, is there anything we can do to prevent another mass extinction event from occurring? We absolutely can prevent it. So at the moment, based on our best records, which are those kept by the IUCN Red List on species extinction, um, we actually have relatively few extinctions recorded over the last 500 years or so. But what we can obviously see is that a large proportion of species are already kind of getting close to extinction. So about 25% of mammals are threatened with extinction, 40% of amphibians, for example, probably around one in five reptiles and so on. We're essentially at a crossroad. Um, we can totally prevent this. It depends on whether we put the actions in place to stop species declines and species extinctions. So whether or not we are in the midst of a mass extinction event, it's clear that the human race has a huge impact on the state of the planet we occupy. For our future generation's sake, we need to seriously assess how huge that impact is.